As each wave crashes into the edge of Township Park, the park continues to disintegrate. And despite emergency measures already taken four years ago, News 5 has been following through on. Deputy Administrator for the Village of Geneva on the Lake, Jesse Spurlock, says more permanent action still needs to be taken sooner rather than later. The rate of erosion has only increased. Uh, Lake Erie hasn't froze in the last few years, which has greatly increased the rate of erosion. Spurlock says needed funding for the Township Park Old Lake Road Shoreline Erosion Protection Project has been slow to gather, despite mild winters speeding up the erosion process. We're constantly rushing against nature and time, um, and it, all of this is bureaucracy, so it's slow, <laughs> but we're trying our best. Homeowner Mark Fisher had to build out this cement break wall we are standing on to save his home. It was really going to take everything down with it if had we not completed what we had to complete. Mm -hmm. He even had to add a new addition recently to continue combating the seemingly never ending erosion issue. This whole strip of six or seven homes here, everybody is putting work into their walls. Everybody's having to do more work every year to keep it from eroding more because it just seems to get worse. It just never seems to get better. The village of Geneva on the lake still needs $860,000 for the $1.3 million project to save Township Park and nearby homes. Spurlock hopes full funding is reached this year. We are hoping to get started on permitting and final design and engineering right away. So we would hopefully see construction in the next two to three years. Time though continues to tick and Mother Nature isn't waiting for anyone. Really hopeful that they'll be able to get the rest of the funding. In Geneva on the Lake, Bryn Caswell, News 5.